Hey there guys and welcome back to God of War. In the last part we entered the maze of Hades and we got told that we have to kill all the enemies in the maze in order to move on. Now let's see that's still quite a few enemies. And there's still this doorway down there which I'm pretty sure there are some enemies in there but we can't get there for some reason. So yay, we can go... L oh, hey, secret door. Damn you and your secret passageways. Oh, crap. More of the lava puzzles. I remember pre failing pretty epically at those last time. But these went well, but unfortunately there's no enemies here, only red orb chests. But I guess that'll do. Oh, they stopped moving now? Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. Maybe we missed something down here. Enemies. Yoo-hoo! Oh, here's a couple. That's just a bunch of centaurs and a gorgon. It's quite a dangerous combination, actually. The gorgon can freeze you and then the centaurs can kill you in one hit. So, yeah, we better deal with the gorgon first. Get some magic back. And deal with the centaurs. Come here, you. I'll throw you for a loop. Nice. They're little glowing blue bows. Kind of reminds me of the bow of Apollo in God of War 3. It also shoots like fiery glowing arrows. Uh, didn't we come in through there? Well, anyways, let's just pop open this chest here. And then whack these soldiers that appear out of nowhere. Using the blade of Artemis. Which should slice them up real good. There we go. Come on. Chop them into pieces. Ooh, nice. Cut his torso off. Uh, let's see, more multiple hallways. And this place is a maze. But then again, that's what they call it, I guess. So, any more hidden passageways around here? This one is this. No, that's not. That's the way we came out. And this does not lead anywhere. I really hate this. Well, maybe I killed all of them already, so let's just go back up and check. I'm pretty sure we've searched every square inch of this maze so I say screw it let's see where did this end up I'm not sure uh, oh okay guess this is just some kind of loop so maybe we do need to go in here after all yep this is it Come on. Okay, it looks full to me. What? How is that thing not filled up? Screw that. Okay, yes, there's still the enemies in that cavity over there that I need to get. But how? I do not know. This kind of frustrates me. Or maybe we just missed some somewhere. Not here. Just do a quick run through of the place again. Oh man, this game is so annoying. Let's see, no enemies over here. Pretty sure there aren't. Or maybe we need to break that. Apparently not. Okay then. That wall's not breakable. And where does... Okay, it stops here, and I didn't see any enemies, so I'm pretty sure we had gotten all of them. Is it a game-breaking glitch? I'm pretty sure it ain't. But still, that does not prevent me from running through the place again, looking for baddies. I'm pretty sure I've had all of them. 
So yeah, what to do? I know what to do. Let's just go back up there and see what we what we can do about it. Do a quick run through of this corridor, and there's nothing there. I mean, come on, Kratos. Just smash the freaking wall rather than... Oh, you need to kill all the enemies? No, just smash the goddamn wall. I mean... Okay, technically he's not the god of war yet, but he's like the ghost of Sparta. Surely he must be able to bash down a simple wall. Oh, wrong way again. But still, let's check for side passages. Because you never really do know. Okay, I'm just really walking in circles now. I mean, it's like the fourth time I'm in this room. In this video. So, yeah. And we're gonna go for another lap. Just for the hell of it. So. Yeah, back in the room with the squeezer. Or whatever the hell you wanna call it. Now. Still not everything, huh? Screw you. Yeah, let's upgrade something. Let's pump some red orbs into Zeus's fury. Because I like that magic, it's awesome. Just... Pump a little bit more into it. I don't know what I was... Like, uh, pressing exit random times, it's fun. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I got like a phone call when I was recording this or something. And I had to... Like, let it sit there for a moment. Or my PS3 controller was empty, either one of those. No, it couldn't have been an empty PS3 controller because then you'd get like... The thingy in the top right of the screen. Must have been a pretty damn long phone call. I mean, come on. Okay, and we're good to go again. Now, I need to get in there. Just move all the way back, you stupid piece of rock. Okay, now we can... Ah! Crap. So annoying. Come on, need to go in there, work with me here, getting pissed off, there we go, yup, there's some enemies in here, sons of bitches, die for, that's for making me walk all through this entire freaking maze three or four times, sons of bitches, now we can move on. Great. If I'm ever able to get out of here, that is. I'm stuck here, aren't I? Come on. Freedom. Hooray. Now, let's move on. See what this place is. Oh, dear. This does not look like fun puzzling. Let's see, press the button, and the statue of Hades rises from blood, lava, some red liquid. Let's just leave it at that. Jump on top of there. And yank the head around. And... What's it? Wait, what did that say? The R2 prompt? Maybe I have to be quicker. Man, I hate these time-based puzzles. Statue of Lord Hades, ruler of the underworld. Dude, keep your head on straight. Damn it. There we go, now stay. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, what exactly do we do here? I have no clue. Can jump on him. Because we'll just slide off. Why is this game so confusing? Uh, yeah. I'll figure out what to do in the next part of God of War. So, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.